Have you ever imagined being at the center of the universe, surrounded by a sea of twinkling stars, distant galaxies, and cosmic forces so powerful that they influence every aspect of the reality you know? Now, try to picture a hidden force, so massive that it pulls in thousands of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, at incredible speeds, as if we were mere puppets in the hands of an invisible cosmic puppeteer. What could be so powerful as to exert such a vast, all-encompassing influence? This is exactly the mystery we want to talk about today, the Great Attractor. To understand its importance, we first need to ask ourselves, what causes entire galaxies to move through space? Every galaxy is in constant motion, influenced by gravity and the relentless expansion of the universe. Yet, there is something strange about the way our galaxy, along with many others, is behaving. It seems that all are converging towards a region of space hidden behind a densely obscured part of the Milky Way, known as the Zone of Galactic Obscuration. This mysterious region exerts an enormous gravitational pull on everything around it. Even our galaxy, with its immense size and spectacular display of stars, is moving towards it at dizzying speeds of about 600 kilometers per second. But the real enigma is that we don't know for sure what lies behind that dark zone. The so-called Great Attractor is there, invisible, yet capable of bending the very structure of the universe, like a giant magnet pulling everything toward it. What exactly is the Great Attractor? Could it be a gigantic cosmic structure still unknown to us, or perhaps a particularly dense region of dark matter, one of the most enigmatic and elusive substances in the universe? Scientists do not yet have a definitive answer but we can explore some of the most fascinating theories that might explain the existence of this incredibly powerful gravitational force. Imagine the universe as a gigantic three-dimensional puzzle, where galaxies are distributed in space like pieces of a cosmic mosaic. We would expect that, due to the expansion of the universe, every galaxy would be moving away from each other, like points drawn on a balloon being inflated. Yet, here something different is happening. The galaxies, including ours, are not moving apart, but converging toward a specific region of space, as if they were being pulled by an immense gravitational force. In 1986, a group of scientists, while studying the velocities of nearby galaxies, discovered that something was pulling a significant part of the local universe toward it. This discovery marked the beginning of a long and fascinating quest to understand what was causing this phenomenon, something never seen before an object capable of making entire galaxies move at speeds of hundreds of thousands of kilometers per hour. But what could this mysterious attractor be? The first hypothesis was that it might be a large cluster of galaxies, similar to those already known. Galaxy clusters are enormous structures that group hundreds or thousands of galaxies, all bound together by gravity. We know that very dense galactic clusters exist in other parts of the universe, and that their gravitational force can influence even distant galaxies. However, what makes the Great Attractor special is its location. It is situated in a part of the sky almost completely obscured by the Milky Way, making it difficult to study with traditional telescopes. The zone of galactic obscuration is a region of the Milky Way so dense with stars, dust, and gas that light from beyond this region cannot easily reach us. This has made it particularly difficult for astronomers to understand what lies there. To overcome this obstacle, scientists have started using instruments that detect other forms of radiation, such as X-rays and radio waves, which can penetrate through the stellar dust. Thanks to these tools, we have been able to gather some clues about what might be in that mysterious region, but the picture remains incomplete. One of the most fascinating questions is, what happens to the galaxies being drawn toward the Great Attractor? Will they eventually be completely swallowed by this force, or is it just a transient phase in their movement through space? Scientists continue to work on answering these questions, but for now, we can only speculate based on the available data. Some researchers suggest that the Great Attractor might lead to gravitational interactions between galaxies, causing mergers or distortions in their structures. Studies of the Milky Way and its closest neighbors, like the Andromeda Galaxy, already show how galaxies can interact, deform, and even merge over the course of billions of years. We might be witnessing long-term galactic evolution, leading to an amalgamation of galaxies, forming new cosmic structures. 
Another even more fascinating theory suggests that the Great Attractor is not just a cluster of galaxies, but part of a much larger cosmic structure called the Cosmic Web. According to this theory, the universe is not randomly distributed, but structured like a network of filaments, a sort of gigantic cosmic spider web connecting galaxies and galaxy clusters to each other. In this web, the filaments of matter connect at nodes, which are the regions of greatest density. The Great Attractor could be one of these main nodes, a point of convergence where several cosmic filaments meet. The cosmic web is one of the most intriguing theories of modern cosmology. According to this model, the universe is divided into dense regions, like galaxy clusters, and empty regions, called cosmic voids. The filaments connecting these regions are made mostly of gas, dust, and largely dark matter. We know that dark matter makes up the majority of the universe's mass, although we cannot see it directly, its presence is detectable only through the gravitational effects it exerts on stars and galaxies. This is where dark matter comes into play. Some scientists hypothesize that the great attractor could largely consist of dark matter. This substance does not emit light or radiation that we can observe, but its gravity is capable of influencing the movement of galaxies. This would explain why we cannot directly observe the Great Attractor. Most of its mass could be composed of something invisible to our instruments. If this theory were confirmed, it would mean that the Great Attractor is one of the largest deposits of dark matter known and could offer us a new window into studying this mysterious substance. Dark matter is one of the greatest enigmas in modern physics. We still don't know what it is made of, but we know that without it, the universe as we know it couldn't exist. The gravity of dark matter is what holds galaxies and galaxy clusters together, preventing them from dispersing into the expanding universe. But the story doesn't end here. Some astronomers have proposed that the great attractor is not just a single structure but part of an even larger region of space that also includes the so-called Laniakea supercluster. This supercluster, discovered only recently, is one of the largest structures ever observed in the universe, containing tens of thousands of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It is so vast that it would take millions of light years to cross. Understanding its structure and functioning will help us better understand our position in the universe and the interactions between different galaxies. The Great Attractor could be a key piece in understanding not only our galaxy but also the position and movement of billions of galaxies across the universe. Each discovery about it offers us a deeper glimpse into the complexity of the universe and the network of forces that govern it. However, the exploration of the Great Attractor and its implications remains a challenge, requiring ever-advanced technologies and innovative approaches. This mystery also reminds us of how little we still know about the universe. Every time we solve a puzzle, new ones arise, pushing us to explore ever deeper. If you want to delve further into these fascinating cosmic enigmas, I recommend two books that can offer you a broader perspective. The Dark Universe by Margarita Hack, which explores dark matter and its effects on the universe, and The Frontiers of the Universe by Guido Cossard, which analyzes the latest astronomical discoveries, including the Great Attractor and the Cosmic Web. In conclusion, the mystery of the Great Attractor continues to challenge scientists and captivate astronomy enthusiasts. While we still don't know exactly what it is, its influence on the universe is undeniable. As we continue to investigate, who knows what other wonders and secrets might emerge from the depths of space. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mystery of the Great Attractor. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to stay updated on our upcoming cosmic explorations.